Number one, the Blues wins our opener here at Durbanville and in fine style as well for the Paddy Crayer stable. Well done, Paddy. I must say, he looked an absolute picture in the parade. Doing lovely coat for this time of year. Really did look well, and he's come home accordingly. Thank you very much. Um, he's been a little disappointing, but uh, he seemed to have sort of stepped up. And well done to Devon. He rode a very, very nice race, and he's also been working frantically hard on this horse. He, he's been coming in all the time, and so that's, that's all come together and worked well. A smashing win today, and the ground looks quite testing as well. It is, it is. It's, uh, a, a, and it's quite changing up, up, up the straight. But anyway, it didn't seem to be coming up too much. So uh, all okay. And well done to Frank. Frank and Margaret are in Malta. So well done to them if they're watching. Fantastic stuff. And he had a dream run up the rail there, didn't he? But uh, got away from them. So it was a good win. Let's hope he can go on and win again. I hope so. Thank you. Thank you very much. Coming through is Devin Ashby. Devin... Uh, Great ride. Um, he looked an absolute picture, I was just saying to Paddy, in the parade ring and, ev and everything uh, went his way today. You got a dream run up the rail there. Yeah, you know, uh, I rode him the last time. I learned something from him riding him last time. Uh, I thought I was cantering behind the horse, following the, the front leading, leading horse. And um, I thought I rushed him too, too much. And as I rushed him forward, his head came up. So I thought he just got to ride this horse patiently. And where he's ever happy to pull you through, let him do it on his own. Um, and credit to Mr. Crayer to to put the blinkers on him now, and it's, it seemed to be working for him. Uh, I think he was just all set needed to mature. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I just said to Paddy, the ground looked quite testing out there on, on TV. It looked to be kicking up pretty wet. Well, I was up there, so I, I didn't really get the kickback. But it, the the course seems to be very running very quick um, on top. Uh, well, while you're riding them on top, it doesn't feel soft at all. Uh, the course is good. Quite funny because you're the first person I saw when I arrived at the race course. I should have followed that because they say that's a name and the first person you see on the course will win. <laughs> well, I hope you see me every time first. <laughs> well done. Well done, Devin. Um, and thanks to Mr. Cray and the team for appreciate the opportunities. Well done. Winning owner coming through. Congratulations. Well, well done. That was really, really exciting. Yeah, it was exciting. It was actually his D-Day because he, we couldn't get further with, with him. It wasn't, he was throwing his toys out. His work at home was always, has always been very good, but then he came to the track and didn't like it. And So, yeah, and uh, then uh, Devin was riding him every day. He worked him very uh, a lot. And as I said earlier, I got him to know very well. And, uh, yeah, and Patrick... They built a good team, so now we, we scored the win. And um, unfortunately, um, Margaret and Frank are overseas, so they couldn't see it. But I will phone them now and tell them about the great win. Yeah. Fantastic for you. You're a very loyal supporter. I see you at the course every time you have a runner. You're always here and you're always supporting. Yeah, it's it's for me. It's always a day out. You see the horses, you your friends here, then you bet, and it's just like uh, you don't think of anything else. So you, then you come to races and enjoy your day. It's all paid off today. Congratulations to you. He looked a million dollars in the parade ring and he's come home very well. So I hope he can win again for you. Yes, hopefully he must. <laughs> Best of luck and enjoy the celebrations. Well done. Thank you. Thank you very much. But it was a super win for number one, the Blues, who wins the first here at Durbanville.